Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. My name's Chase. Today, we're gonna to be going over the Seakeeper Gyro user interface in your Garmin MFD. All right guys, here we're on the Open 302. We've got the Seakeeper Gyro user interface open here. It's a one helm device in your Garmin MFD. So we're just gonna go through a couple of the basic functions here. When you start up on this screen, you'll see it has a power button and it's gray. So that means the system is not on. So we're gonna go over and just select the power button. From there, I've already had the system spooled today. So you can see I'm like halfway spooled. But once the system gets to the point to where it's about three quarters of the way spooled up, you'll get an icon right here and it'll have like a boat rocking back and forth. That's gonna be your engagement for the Sea Keeper. So the Sea Keeper can be on at all times and running, but to engage it, you're gonna have to hit the boat rocking icon. Um, from here in the center of the screen, you can see our roll angle, and then also your battery voltage, which is a good thing to keep an eye on throughout the day. So this voltage readout is coming from the batteries that are supplying power directly to the Seakeeper gyro itself. So again, that's just a good thing to keep an eye on throughout the day. Again, you got your roll angle. Um, we've got a couple things in here that are pretty cool. So with the gyro, obviously now that your boat has Seakeeper ride as well, it actually has a ride icon right here. So you can pivot back and forth between the two Seakeeper icons. So just with a simple touch of a button, now I'm back on my ride screen. I can make adjustments to the trim tabs, do what I need to do in there. If you wanna go back to the gyro, all you gotta do is hit the S right here and it'll slide back over. Um, so just one of the unique things that they've incorporated. If you'd like a different display right here, other than roll angle, you can go to kind of like a heartbeat indication. So this will just give you a line through the middle. And as you can see, if the boat were to rock, it'll go up to five degrees to port, it'll go up down to negative five, go back and forth and almost look like a heartbeat readout on a screen. So this will just give you a good indication of how hard the system is working throughout the day. But again, if you like it simple, you can select in the bottom left-hand corner here, it'll just give you just your, your generic right angle level gauge there. All right, guys, thanks for watching that quick video just on the user interface of the Seakeeper Gyro. Um, we hope this will help you kind of navigate some of the tools and some of the useful items in this system. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Like and subscribe. And if you have anything that you guys would like to see, please email us at the address listed below. And we'll see you next time.